Senator Mike Lee, a Republican from Utah, are you afraid, sir, that that all of this battling is somehow hurting the Republican brand? No, I think the American people deserve to have us protect them from the harmful effects of Obamacare. What the American people have been seeing over the last week uh, is really the best argument that anyone could ever come up with against Obamacare. I mean, look, we've seen the president of the United States use his immense power, the enormous power of the federal government against the American people in order to make things as uncomfortable as, as his administration can possibly make them, in order to allow him more effectively to get what he wants out of Congress. This is horrible. And the American people understand that the worst thing to do when governments behave that way, as they do from time to time, is to give that same government more power. Well, uh, you, uh, whether a future president is a Republican or a Democrat, the people don't want more power in the hands of the government that can just be used against them in future political battles. So you're saying the president is trying to make it tough on folks at home. Give us some examples, because again, you know, as, as some of the polling shows, 38 percent of Americans think Republicans are to blame here versus 30 yeah, well, percent well, Democrats. Uh, Okay, so let's look at the fact that in Nevada there was a, a couple who uh, was evicted from their home because that home happened to be on federal land. Look at the fact that uh, National Park Service officials tried to shut down Mount Vernon, even though Mount Vernon is owned by a private foundation and has been for 150 years, uh, citing the fact that the parking lot adjacent to Mount Vernon is jointly owned by the National Park Service. Uh, just look at what they've done on the mall here in Washington, the fact that they've tried to exclude veterans from visiting the World War II memorial. They couldn't close it, so they built doors. They built gates around it to keep people out. Uh, I mean, th this, this costs money. It serves the interests of no one other than the interests, the very shameless political interests of the president who's trying to make the shutdown as painful as he possibly can so that he can get what he wants out of Congress. And this is wrong. And this is why the American people intuitively understand we shouldn't be making the federal government more powerful, especially in an area as personal as health care. The man who uh, leads your body, the U.S. Senate, weighed in on all of this this morning. I want to play for you a bit of what Harry Reid had to say. We agree. We'll talk to you about anything you want to talk about. You want to talk about discretionary spending. You want to talk about the farm bill. You want to talk about postal reform. You want to talk about health care. We'll talk. But open the government. Stop threatening a catastrophic default on the nation, nation's bills. So he says, let's open the government first, and then we'll negotiate. What do you think? Well, that's exactly what we've tried to do as Republicans. And look, the Republican-controlled House under the extraordinary leadership of Speaker Boehner and Majority Leader Cantor have led the way on this, and they've passed bills to reopen piece by piece the different aspects of the government where there's broad-based bipartisan consensus and where there is nothing uh, that relates in any way to Obamacare. Uh, passing bills to fund things like veterans' benefits to keep uh, cancer research moving forward, uh, to keep our national parks open. And Harry Reid uh, refuses even to allow those to be brought up for a vote, uh, much less uh, to support them. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I wish he were sincere in those words, but his actions tend to suggest otherwise. We'll hear what the president has to say in a couple of hours. Mike Lee, Republican senator from Utah, thank you. Thank you.